Arizona Cardinals at home week two, welcoming in the New York Giants, both teams winless. The Giants L, however, akin to one you'd expect to see at the college level, not the NFL. Bonye Thomas right through the pack, and that was an easy block. And can you believe it, after it started so picture perfectly for the New York Giants, ends in disaster. Haven't seen a beat down like that since Ralphie laid into that bully kid in the alley. Wow. Week one was a debacle for the G-Men with a capital buckle. But it's one game, right? And so long as they aren't behind by 83 at the end of the first, they can lean on their best offensive weapon this week, Saquon Barkley. He is a nightmare to try and tackle if you're one of those defensive backs. Barkley ran for 51 yards, 4.3 a carry, only 12 carries though, due to watching the Cowboys blow by them on the scoreboard like Roadrunner did to Wiley. It's a run for Barkley this time. Good opening is Barkley. It's about nine yards. Cardinals defense, he and Daniel Jones face, held their own against Washington's runners in week one. Not that the Commanders are an elite run team, but 3.3 a carry on 28 attempts isn't too shabby. It's a game to Robinson. Good job penetrating by Kevin Strong. Arizona would love to put New York in passing situations, at least based on what happened in week one. First, their own pass rush. Pressured Sam Howell over 50% of his attempts. Billy Joel can tell you what that means. Especially a shotgun snap to Howell, who gets eaten up. Cardinals linebacker Dennis Gardick, two sacks. The team, forget Sam Adams, they cracked a Sam Howell sixer. Howell under pressure, and he's going to go down. Dennis Gardick. Pair that with the Giants last week playing Oprah to Dallas defenders. You get a sack, you get a sack, and you get a sack. Jones taken down seven times behind the line. Next year, look out again. Jones, crack down. Also, Odigi Zua. So Jones comes into this game with his pockets full of dimes. No TDs, two INTs, rating in the low 30s. Tight end Darren Waller, wide receiver Darius Slayton, etc. None cracked 40 yards. It's just been kind of one of those kind of nights here. He didn't even mention Jalen Wyatt. Yeah, sometimes you don't get mentioned until you actually do something. Will any of these guys be able to do something against the Cardinals secondary? Arizona held Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson, and Curtis Samuel. Tight end Logan Thomas all in check. Picked Sam Howell off once, held him to a sub-80 rating. Trying to take a shot. Wobbly pass is picked off! Jonathan Gannon is a defensive guy, so them being tougher on this front isn't crazy, and neither is thinking a defense that allowed an offense to crack a 40 wasn't as bad as it seems. But the Giants' defense didn't really give up 40. The Cardinals' offense will be looking across at a secondary that held Dak Prescott to a low 70s rate, just 143 passing yards, only 6 yards per attempt. But it's going to be Deontay Banks, the rookie, who came off his guy to go back and make that play and break up the touchdown. Big time play by Banks. New York does need more from its pass rush this week. They didn't get to Dak once in 24 dropbacks. The Cardinals gave up a pressure rate close to 40, allowed three sacks, so there is opportunity. You know why you only bring four? Because you can still get to the quarterback. Montez Sweat does it there to close the drive. If Dobbs doesn't have more time, hard to see their passing attack taking off versus the Giants. He only threw for 132 yards, a sub-80 rating, just 4.4 per attempt last week, he threw to Zach Ertz 10 times, only produced 21 yards. Back down the middle and oh, so close right off the fingertips. Really, you could see Arizona trying to keep it close with their defense and then relying more on their running game. James Conner, he hit at a respectable 4.4 a carry, 14 carries, 62 yards. And James Conner with the best run of the day for Arizona. It's a first down. The Giants rushed he, he faces, gave up five a run to Tony Pollard along with two TDs. Lipke the fullback leads, Pollard bounces, the Cowboys score again. Arizona competed last week, and with their situation, that's kind of a win. If last week really was just one game, then the G-Men better make a statement this week and not just scratch out a three-point win. Let the world know your thoughts on things in the comments section. Let's see what the prediction panel has for it.